Islam is submission to what is real, totally real. It is this recognition and an acceptance of the way things really are not as they appear. Everything that we can see, that we can look and observe, according to the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, why does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala command us to look, to observe, to reflect? Everything is in submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who is the real Al-Haq. But the trouble is, we are not looking, we are not seeing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the first command, Ya ayyuan na'su budu rabbukum alladhi khalakakum walladhina min qablikum la'allakum tattakum. O humanity, worship your Lord who has created you and those before you in order, perhaps the Allah, for you to realize taqwa. Again, Ya ayyuan na'su budu rabbukum alladhi خَلَقَكُمْ وَالَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ This is what we are failing to do. We are not worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَلَا تَجْعَلُوا لِلَّهِ أَنْدَةً وَأَنْتُمْ تَعْلَمُونَ Do not set up false deities besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You are aware of what you are doing. Oh dear brothers and sisters, we have to turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have to understand what Al-Islam means, what submission means, what the kalima means. We have to understand what Muslim means. We are so far away from the deen that we read about the companions, the Sahaba, the Sahaba's lives. So many kitabs available, but we are far from any way of living like them. We have not been created as well as jinn except to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's more than just religious rituals. It is a whole way of life. But Iblis, A'udhu Billahi Minu Shaitan Run, Iblis is winning. We are following the path of Shaitan in this dunya. The dunya, as not is, has completely taken over humanity. And that means the Ummah of Sayyidina Muhammad And this is what Heart C has come. Heart C has come to rewire, to reconnect to the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to rewire, to redesign inshallah ta'ala if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us the tawfiq through this global movement, working together in all four corners of this globe to begin inshallah ta'ala to instill and install the divine system that is above us and around us in creation because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us and commands us to study, to reflect, to ponder, understand these universal laws. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna Allah la yugayiru ma bi qawmi hatta yugayiru ma bi anfusihim. Allah does not change the people until hatta they change what is in themselves. According to Imam Abu Talib al-Maqi in the nourishment of the heart, the beauty of this ayat is that it comprises of a twofold meaning. First, it means that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not remove blessings that he has bestowed upon the people until they transgress from obedience to dispute to disobedience and this is the response to our first question we are in this state today because of our disobedience in other words we exchange the guidance alif la mim dalik al kitab that's the guide that we asked for and continue to ask for 
five times a day, but we're saying it without understanding it. They're just words, it's lip service. We are in this state because of our disobedience. In other words, we exchange the guidance for misguidance. And now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala left us to defend for ourselves. Very simple. The ayat, the signs are there above and below and in us and in history throughout the Quran through the teachings of a beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam but we don't want to open our eyes we don't want to listen so what do we do? please, please join Heart C International be part of this global movement in Shalata let us do what we can in a very small way. Make the intention. Everything is in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What we are trying to do in Heart C is to bring the Quran alive. Trying to bring Islam alive in the hearts and minds of our future generations. Please help us and please support us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Shabbat